everyone, this is Mark with MHTAlerts.com. Today is October 27, 2012. All eyes are on Hurricane Sandy as it's still a Category 1, but still a very large storm affecting a lot of winds and rain. Taking a look at the latest spaghetti models here on Google Earth, all spaghetti models are pointing a, a sharp turn into the East Coast. We'll be watching it very close here over the next few days. Uh, as New York, New Jersey, Washington prepares for the storm system. As we're seeing right now, even Florida is still getting impacts from the storm. And also into right now, we're seeing impacts of the storm in Southern Carolina, Northern Carolina. Winds of up to 50 miles per hour gusting in the area. And I'll show you why here. I'm going to bring up this image, uh, the satellite image here. And as you see, a lot of rain, showers, and thunderstorms here in the storm system. And again, of course, I'll update you on the information from the National Hurricane Center. and. As of 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, this is at virus number 21. Uh, max sustained winds are 65 knots or 75 miles per hour. And again, it's a minimum central pressure is 957 millibars, according to the National Hurricane Center, which has been updated. And it says it's located at 29.0 degrees north, 76.0 degrees west. Movement is north northeast at 8 knots or 9 miles per hour. And again, of course, you see the turn that it's going to make here in the east coast, according to the map. So I'd like to bring up the latest update from the Mr. Hurricane Tracker or MHTAlerts.com site. As you see, we are still on condition red for Hurricane Sandy as we go down a little further and take a look at the path. And this is the latest update as of October 27th, which I'll update there for you as well. As you see, the cone of uncertainty has dropped down a little bit. So again, of course, we'll be watching folks up in the New York area, all the way down into Virginia. So stay alert for this one and we'll see what's happening. So don't be too concerned about the strength of the storm. Uh, of course, as right now this is the large storm system that we'll be watching because of the impact of the heavy winds and rain. The heavy winds will be a big uh, part of the storm system which will see damage uh, for power outages and tree damage possible. So stay tuned and stay alert. And if you're in those areas closer to the shoreline, you might want to actually think about making an evacuation plan if necessary. So going down to take a look, there are updated posts on the hurricane warnings and updates or tropical storm warnings and updates, storm surge updates as well. And we'll go up to the latest radar map here and we'll see the radar map as you see the storm system as it continues to move north, northeast. I'll continue to keep you updated and posted on the latest information. So once again, stay alert, be cool. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.